Another hot, steamy day in Central America. In the past, the Caribbean has seen many pirates come and go. But even today, villains find their way to this tropical paradise. But what are these modern-day pirates up to? And will Tommy, Aura, and Seabird be able to get to this faraway land in time to stop them? What is it, Raul? I followed these strangers from the boat that went up the river yesterday. They sneak up into the jungle and capture birds. What kind of birds? Parrots and macaws. But they spoke of going up into the cloud forest after the Quetzal birds. We mustn't let them set foot in the cloud forest. This is bad enough if they take the other birds. We should warn them for their own good to stay away from the cloud forest and the Quetzal birds. But how can we stop them? I know who can stop them. Come in, Wallaby Voyager. Do you read me? Can I take some of your luggage? Oh what? A seal? <laughs> Sorry about that. Seabird's always fond of a swim. Welcome to Guatemala, my friends. Thank you for coming on such short notice. We've always wanted to visit this part of the world. Sorry it has to be under such serious circumstances. At least you will be able to celebrate the Equinoccio Festival in the village. I'll tell you more later. Please, follow me. <laughs> Darn mosquitoes. Darn it. Oh, there's another one! Get him! <laughs> A bird in the bush is as good as dough in your hand with this thing. Let's go back and show Smokey! Dumb mosquitoes! Oh. What? Yes, parrots, macaws, cockatoos. No, no quetzals. They're hard to find. It, it'll cost you. Oh, lousy bloodsucker. How come they never get you? You're a bigger target. <laughs> Wait, don't move. <laughs> What's going on here? Nothing, boss. Did you get any more birds? Yes, no, boss. boss. Never mind, you idiots. Listen, we gotta go catch us some Quetzal birds. The client will pay double. Oh, but boss, we haven't seen any. No, I told you before, we gotta go up higher to the cloud forest. Oh, but boss, it's so spooky up there. Are you afraid of little birds? Come on, let's go. So you see, it is not merely the fact that Quetzal birds are very rare and are worth a fortune to collectors. They are also sacred to our people and the whole Mayan tribe. You say there is a legend of doom behind capturing a Quetzal? Yes, the bird has been a symbol of freedom to all of Central America for centuries. The kings and priests of the old empire would use their long plumes for royal headdresses. But they would remove these feathers very carefully. They would never cage or harm these birds. You see, the bird was believed to be the incarnation of the god Quetzalcoatl. In fact, the festival de Equinoccio that the village is now celebrating is partly a tribute to Quetzalcoatl. I've heard that the ancient Mayans built temples that acted as huge sundials to determine the exact time of the equinox. That is true. But what is the equinox? The equinox is the hour when the sun is at its lowest point in the sky of the whole year. The temple shadows align to form planned images at that moment. And inside the sanctuary, it is the only moment per year that a bright beam of light illuminates the sacred altar. It's normally a very festive time for the village, if it wasn't for the poachers. Do we know where the poachers plan on catching the Quetzals? 
There is only one place. High in the sacred cloud forest. Well, then that's where we'd better go. Uh, I think what Siebert wants to know is, will the Quetzals mind if we're up there? <laughs> no, no. I'm sure they will sense your good intentions. It is the poachers and all connected to them that are in danger. I will guide you. I know my way up there fairly well. Remember, the poachers must never find the sanctuary. How can they find it? I don't even know where it is. I thought it only existed in the legends. Who says legends are not real, Raoul? Be careful up there. I swear, it's following me. Where else can it find a buffet lunch? Oh. Knock it off, you two. You'll scare away the Quetzals. I don't even know what they look like. You'll know one when you see it. Nothing like them. They're red, yellow, and green with long, colorful tails. Three feet long. You can't miss them. There's one. Hey! Oops. Oh, get that thing off my nose. Sorry, boss. No, oh, you idiots. Uh, there it goes. Get him. I think he flew over that waterfall. I guess we took a wrong turn somewhere. Oh, darn it. Hey, how about if we rest here? the price. I'm gonna... Yow! Ah! Hold it, you guys. It's just a rock. Yeah, but a mean-looking rock. There. Did you see that? A Quetzal went into the cave. We got it trapped. Uh, we do? Yeah, let's go. Stay out here and you'll be eaten by mosquitoes. Better than being eaten by an ugly rock. Hey, there's an opening on the other side. Whoa! Look at that! Temples! Birds! There must be hundreds. Well, friends, our troubles are over. Yeah! We're all gonna be millionaires! Did you hear that? <laughs> Seabird! <laughs> what? Those voices sound familiar to me. The singing stone face? More like three singing stone heads. You cannot go in there. We have to stop them. If my guess is right, they're in there catching the Quetzal birds. And if so, they are doomed. They don't sound doomed, and they can do a lot of damage in there meanwhile. Do you know those men? Yes, it's my Uncle Smokey. Uncle? Tommy, let's talk about this! Wait, Tommy! <laughs> Espera!
to the secret sanctuary has disappeared as mysteriously as it appeared. Smokey and his cohorts do not realize yet that they might be as caged as the birds they have caught. <laughs> they are too obsessed by the hundreds of rare Quetzal birds which appear to inhabit this sanctuary. Meanwhile, back at the village, someone is very concerned. It is Don Ramon, who now doubts if it was wise to send the children high into the cloud forests all alone. Our heroes have followed Smokey and his crew through the cave into the sacred sanctuary, and this may have been a fatal mistake. There's another one! Get it! Carbone! Get the cages! Gotcha! In you go! Look! The hidden Quetzal Sanctuary! We better split up to find the poachers! Okay, you two go that way. Siebert and I will go the other way. Darn parasites! There he goes! They all keep going into those ruins. If I'm not mistaken, inside there is a Quetzal gold mine! Come on. Look! Over there! It's the poachers! We must stop them from going into the temple. Uh, three doors. Which one do we take? Why don't we flip a coin? You idiot, there's three doors. Just choose a door. Uh... Door number two. Door number three. This way. No, oh, but boss, we chose the other two doors. Exactly. Let's go. What is it, Seaver? Looks like Aura and Raul are onto something. Let's go. Which door did they go into? The three doors probably all lead into a maze. According to the legend, somewhere in there is a sacred nesting room. If the poachers go in that room, there will be real trouble. We must stop them. But how do we know this is the right door? We don't know. And what's more, we have to be very careful for traps. Traps? Yes, but I know what to watch for. Just stay away from the circular shapes. Look out, Raul! What? Oof! Are you all right? Yes, it's just a warning, but we must be careful. <laughs> Which door should we try, Seabird? <laughs> okay, I hope it's the right one. Ow! If one more of those stupid things pops out of the floor, I'm gonna scream! Just keep walking! Uh, I don't see any birds anymore. Me neither! We gotta be careful in here, Seabird. The Mayans made many traps to protect their temples. <laughs> what is it, Seabird? Seabird! Look out! <laughs> Oh, no! Hang on, Seabird! Whoa! Are you okay, Seabird? I hope Aura and Raul are doing better than we are. We're totally lost! We've passed this thing twice already! I guess we chose the wrong door. I hope Tommy and Siebert got further than we did. What is that? <gasps> it's 
It's a cat song! I can see light in there. Let's crawl through here. Uh, I don't think there's any birds here. I just hope we can find our way out of here. Why don't you two idiots just shut up and keep going? Hey, boss! I hear birds! They're in the wall! Oh, well, let's get them! Stand back! Not like that, you fool! We gotta dismantle the brick! The sound of the quetzals is getting louder. Ay! Are you all right, Raul? Ooh! A trick ball! This is real bad. Maybe we better go back out the tunnel without disturbing anything. Yes, there are no poachers here anyway. Let's get out of here. Whoa! Oh, look at all those birds! Don't look at them, you idiots! Get them! Uh, over here! Gotcha! Got another one, Sulfuric! Did you say something? No, not me, boss. Did you say something? Oh, no, I didn't say nothing. Whoever cages a quetzal is doomed. Uh, cages? We could put them in bags. All right, you kids. Why don't you go play outside while we carry on with our business? Your business may have doomed us all. Uh, we're not afraid of a curse. But we're not afraid of nothing. Yeah. We're not afraid of a stupid stone bird. Well, you two quit your yapping and get to work. Why aren't all these birds in your cages yet? The curse of Quetzalcoatl will stop you. What's that? Hey, the boss. It's getting spooky in here. Seabird, look! There's a light over there. It might be a way out. Hold on, Seabird. I scared you. I had a bad feeling the poachers had found the sanctuary. I had to see if I could help. You sure helped. I don't think those poachers will ever be back. Neither shall we. Let's restore everything to its previous condition. And of course, free the birds. 
start the engines. Let's get out of here. Go! Go! Get out of here! We don't need your kind of trouble. The ancient Mayans were great astronomers. They used to build monuments to the sun, such as that temple. It was positioned to catch the light precisely when the sun was in the equinox position. But where did the red glow come from? All reflections from the sun. Light magnification on the jewel. Wasn't it beautiful? Yes, especially when it showed Siebert and me the way out from the well. <laughs> well, hello, little friend. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, all is well in the land of the Mayas. The Quetzals are free again, and the secret of the sanctuary is safe.